morning guys. It's October 30th. It's about 7.30. There's that lake behind me. It is a pretty still morning. I waited until the wind switched and started coming predominantly out of the south. It was out of the north for the last, I don't know, three or four days. Had a lot of rain. So the woods are pretty quiet this morning. I'm crossing fingers. We'll see what happens. Hope you liked the video. Stick around. since that buck 
pretty sure Rich went back to the cabin. So I'm going to have a snack here in a little bit and uh, get ready for the evening hunt. It's been a pretty, pretty day. It's, uh, yeah, just, just nice to be in the woods. This guy over here with the gun. How many rounds does it take? I get it. I mean, you're trying to check your gun. Got the dog, and now this. I guess on the plus side, maybe he'll push stuff to me. Good morning guys. It's about 10 o'clock. It's Sunday morning. You're probably wondering what happened What happened to Saturday and Sunday? I had to make an executive decision. You know, the wind just was not cooperating and instead of blowing up the area, I decided to uh, stay up. Um, the big reason is, is that nine point is still walking around and he's a nice deer. Um, he's freshened up his scrapes. We've got him on the camera. We've got, I've got one picture of him during the daylight. And it was last Tuesday, I think. It was Tuesday or Thursday. Um, just this past Tuesday or Thursday. And about 5.30 in the afternoon. So this is the last hunt for me at this property. And again, I didn't want to blow it up for Rich. Because he's got one more shot at this deer next weekend. And so he and I were talking. I helped them come up with a game plan. We identified some more trees that are around where this buck has been seen. And I'm really hoping that you know the, the weather and the wind works out and uh, he's able to arrow this deer, or at least see this deer, or even just get a deer in general. Um, I'm gonna be at my public land spot, setting up my camper with my daughter. And I told him to give me a shout if he gets a deer down. I'll come over, it's only another hour and a half drive. I'll come over and help him out, help him fill dress and clean it. Uh, on it. And uh, like I said, hopefully, crossing fingers, he gets a shot at this nine point. We don't have a name for this nine point. Uh, it's just called the Big Nine. As I get older in age, I feel like I'm learning every single year something about hunting. And I think this year, you know, is a learning experience for me because, like I said, I would have been in the woods all day yesterday. I would have been in the woods this morning. This deer does not appear spooked. He doesn't appear to be you know, alarmed at all. But anyway, um, I'm just kind of rambling right now. And I appreciate you clicking on the video. I appreciate the view. And if you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more of these videos, hit the subscribe button. And uh, get outside, have some outdoor fun. And I'll see you next time. Just blasting everything.